How's it going boys? Today we are playing Hydrosis Crosses. Finally the Hydra deck. And it's an interesting Hydra deck because we only have 10 Hydras. So, 3 Blondes are flourishing. I guess that's how we're now gonna call it. 2 Nisses Triumphs, 4 Growth Spirals, 4 Gifts of Paradisio, 2 Vivian's Champions of the Wild, 3 Vivian's Arcbow Rangers, 2 Wilderness Reclamations, 3 Nisses who shake the booty, 3 Mendings of Dominati, 2 just the original Vivian Raids, aka the extremely ugly one, uh, 2 Bio Essence Hydra, I think that's how it's called, uh, 4 Verocious Hydra and 4 Hydrosis Crosses, nice boys, so this is a Hydra deck, and 1 Arc, 2 Blast Zones and 3 Carnage Bastions, which is completely unnecessary and completely founded on illogical fears of, well, uh, honestly nothing, but it's fine. So, 23 lands in this deck. Okay, so we're gonna play it and see how it goes. This this deck can combo pretty hard, obviously, and this deck can also lose pretty horribly, honestly. It's actually in particularly very weak against the life gain synergy decks where creatures just become really big. Because we're really bad at the start with dealing with creatures. So if someone gets a lucky start and for example drops Gideon's company, oh well then you just got gideon This is a horrible hand. Yeah, my deck has a lot of things going for it in terms of you know, getting things like lands out because it's actually an extremely crucial and pivotal part of uh, part of our society. And also, by the way, whoever fucking decided that this magic update was a good idea should be instantaneously fired. So let me just explain how clicking the cat now works. It has an internal cooldown, which is dumb to say the goddamn least. But that is not the biggest fallacy here. Well, actually it is. Also, there's the fallacy of lands that now you can pick arts and you need to choose from 50 fucking different lands. Why can't you just click like, I don't know, left click on the land and then you get something? Yeah, that's a little bit annoying, but that's fine. Actually, it's not fine, but it's annoying, so it's almost fine. Okay, what are the chances that he tries to... Hmm. Could do this for one. Not sure what's the point exactly. Need to do this for 5 if I want to make that happen, but in the meantime, I kind of... Well, I can ask... No, I can, wait. Well, uh, well, well, actually, I can do this. This for 1. You know, Chad bonuses, ahoy. That's right. Get nothing. He's probably laughing his ass off, but then we drop the Vivian Arc Bow Ranger, which I absolutely no one expects. And then we have a Bioessence Hydra. Again, there's a million ways that this deck honestly synergizes. And they're all almost valid. Almost because, you know, it's a little bit of a uh, luck gamble sort of situation type of thing. But yeah, now we can do this part. And that's pretty amazing. Submit one. And make it BAM SHABAM WABAM boys. Oh, by the way, this card kind of uh, theoretically makes you create a sideboard. But obviously, we are extremely, extremely too dominant for things like sideboards. So, you know, there, there's that. Also, we're going to be using the minus 3, probably. Or, you know, just dropping the Hydrosis Crosses. I do really want to drop the Vivian Champion of the Wilds. But for now, we're just going to have to, you know, be deal, deal with things how they are. Yeah. So, these Hydras are escalate so goddamn fast, not even gonna lie. This is actually an amazingly powerful card. And also, I would like to say one bad thing. So, you know, I usually, I, I honestly sometimes don't... I sometimes honestly just don't tell people when I figure out something pretty good, you know, that hasn't been figured out. Just in pure, uh, pure fears that, you know, it's gonna screw me over sometime in the near future, some magically goddamn how. And, you know, today a situation like that has occurred. So, I was playing, and I saw a bunch of feather decks that use the, the, the two-costing enchantment that draws you a card every time a creature is targeted by a spell and scries when... Yeah. Feather decks were all already one of my pet peeve nightmares. 
and now they're, they're now now they have literally just become even worse because people have magically figured out that that thing is actually legit and that is a problem that is a huge huge problem in my eyes yeah <clears throat> so there, there we have it boys it's a problem i need to kill this the hydrosis crosses is actually i'll need to fight the what well, hello there, Sorin Kun. Are you gonna use the minus to get the angel back? That would be pretty, well, dumb. Well, not actually exactly dumb, but you kind of get the point. You're not exactly out healing anything here, laddie. So, well, what are you gonna do exactly? Are you gonna attack? Are you? No, that touches no anything. And my things have trample. Not sure if that's a smart choice. I can also drop this and it becomes a giant. So, uh, more bonus points, I guess. Okay. Oh, look at that. Uh, now we have Vivian Argbo champion possibilities. But it's fine. He has... Okay, we're gonna probably just... Yeah, we're just making it fight. Yes, we're just making it fight again. Boom, boom, boom. Do it for three. Pay, pay the external mana, mana thingy. And make it fight the angel again. Ah, oh, it's like a repeat. Okay, and now do do this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's just make these things fight. And by fight, I obviously mean not actually fight, but, you know, do, do things like that. So, yeah, if you draw this, Vivian, you honestly have a shit ton of early game potential. But I like to keep the combo so the hiders can actually become, like, 2020s. Because getting this thing to a 2020 status is not actually hard. Not hard in the slightest. But at the end of the video, I will show you how to actually uh, make this deck a little bit more mid-game. That literally just involves... Really? Just... Well, good game indeed, I guess. You know, we, we didn't really even try too hard, but you know, we got so far and then it didn't even matter. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna pick a forest, because forests. <clears throat> Okay, uh, do the plus things, and on this and this, it's fine. Everyone gets a one counter on them. There's absolutely no point in anything I'm doing currently, because this guy got totally, totally dominated upon. But it's fine, because we have a bunch of Vivians. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's the only pro- Oh, God, yes, more, Daddy. Just, 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 I have, I have been a bad girl, all the Planeswalkers. Let's just drop this to, you know, demonstrate a point. Yep, that's a bunch of things. And let's actually skip this turn because we still... Oops. Yeah, let's just say oops. It's not actually oops. I just wanted to, uh, to you know... Uh, yeah, ma make my internet penis a little bit longer for one second. Yeah, I, I guess this is a pretty decent display on full, full throttle what the deck can do. We only didn't have Wilderness Reclamations and, you know... So we only didn't have Wilderness Reclamations, that's pretty much it. Okay, that was a pretty good game to, you know, so what is this? I have never seen this before. Wow, it's absolute garbage. Nice. Well played, Magic. Also, has anyone even remotely paid attention to what kind of cards they put in the sets? They put the worst common cards in, the, in three sets in a row, like literally. Also something that, you know, ah, I can't click on the cat. Someone please fire the one who decided that this update is somehow valid. Okay, we have a Vivian Arcbow Ranger, which is again probably the strongest early opening that we can possibly afford. And we do have a Bond of Flourishing. Okay, so that's good. And we have the Hydra that does Hydra things. Oh, we can honestly almost do something with Growth Spiral. Growth Spiral is a little bit dodgy. Honestly, on one hand, we have too much ramp cards, but on the other hand, we don't have enough ramp cards. And that is, uh, well, it's not actually anything, but you kind of get the point. I don't like it. Also, this Vivian costs 3 green, which is a pretty steep price for a, well, 6 out of 10 Vivian. At best, boys, at best. Okay, do I want to drop this? Yes, I do. Is there a point in doing that? No. Actually, no. Okay, do we want to exile something? Let's exile Gift of Paradisio just because, you know, I want to hurt myself. You know, sometimes you need to cut deep. Oh, look at that. Look at, look at those multicolored things he's doing. 
Also, oh god, didn't expect that one exactly. But it's honestly, I guess, fine because, well, you know, now now we can drop up Hydrosis Crosses for two. It looks like it's a control deck, so honestly, it doesn't really matter. And double up the counters. Boom! Yeah, it's a pretty efficient card. It's a 4 5 4 4. Honestly, efficiency at its finest. Okay, so now he's gonna kill that. Yes, we're up against the control deck, lads. The time has come. Okay, the time is literally not fucking coming. Okay, let's drop the, drop the sacrificial Vivian Chun. It's fine, submit for zero. And move onward. I need a green land, no, not a green land, but a blue land. It's kind of cucking me hot. Jesus, this guy has the solutions for everything. But it's fine, because I don't want... Uh, honestly, that Vivian is fine, but it's a control deck, so it's actually bait. Stop. Game. Fucking stop. This is this is not cool. This is not cool even in the most slightest senses of the word. Ah, it's been a while since I have seen just a uh, pure pure control deck like this. Ooh, a Kefnet. Of course it's a Kefnet. Well, man. Oh, look at that. A Vivian Chan. Okay, uh, that honestly does not give me too many boons to work with here. Not gonna lie. But it does give us an Arc of Raska. Which is useless at this moment in time. But the Kefnet can't really kill the Nissa. And that's a problem because Nissa is one of the strongest counters to uh, control decks. Because it's essentially. Uh, it's a 2 for 1 for control decks to kill Nissa. Oh, you're doing that? I'm just gonna take the man, man out. What now? What now? Nothing. Probably nothing. Okay, I still can't use anything because reasons. Great stuff, honestly. Great stuff. Would, would probably do that 10 out of 10 again. Okay, let's see. Aha! Someone kill me now. Well, on the bright side, we can do this now. We can, we, so he needs to actually pick because... Wait, does he have a counter spell? Don't tell me he has a counter spell. He has a counter spell. He doesn't have a counter spell. He almost has a counter spell. Okay, great stuff. Okay, so let's just do counters on nothing, I guess, in that case. Yeah, this this could be pretty good in some alternative dimension where I get a blue mana source, which would not theoretically be ever hard, but in this reality, sadly, it's somehow prohibited by a law or something like that. <laughs> so yeah, <clears throat> if I get the Hydrosis Crosses out, it can actually... F Is he not doing anything? What? Huh? Oh, yes. No, he is. He is. It's fine. It's fine. So, you know, at moments like this, I actually wish I had a sideboard. But, still, not really. Making a sideboard is just extra unnecessary fluff. Okay. Oh, look at that. Did you see that? Man, that's the best bull land I have ever seen. I'm just conceding out of frustration, boys. Not even gonna lie. Frustration out of 10 has been achieved. Yeah, pretty impressive actually frust i'm gonna just switch lands now for absolutely no reason we do have actually that's well that that's that's an unreasonable amount of low lands but it's fine it's fine well, actually it's always fine because our most our most highest mana cost is one blue okay so maybe now it's gonna be better it's probably gonna be worse now we're gonna open our hand with three islands the only islands we have Terrible, terrible stuff. Well, I guess it's whatever. Okay, so in the meantime, I'm not sure why I actually did that, but, you know, it's fine. Ooh! So, but lore-wise, the, the, the card you just saw is like an Orzov something. I have no idea because the card is not actually in the game, and if it is, it's so garbage I have completely missed its existence. Out of ten, obviously. Okay, god. Please, Wizards, if you have... Eh, like, this is... By the, way, by the way, this is the only bad update Wizards has done, in my opinion, so far. So, honestly, bonus points for that, I guess. But, yeah. Okay, do we want Nissas or do we want... I'm actually gonna go for the Nissa, because there is a chance we get the land. We're missing, essentially, only one land. And that's a pretty big deal, yo. So we have the blue, we have the everything, we have the Nissa, and this guy is probably, you know, a little bit scared about life. Life, expect uh, life expectations not exactly going according to plan. 
Okay, at this rate, we will have Vivians to play, and playing Vivians is honestly a good thing. Well, this is not Nivian. Vivian. Nivian! The fusion of Nissa and Vivian. Nivian! Boys, I think we're onto something here, not gonna lie. Okay, what do I do? Well, actually, I do it like this because it's smart. Also, this is obviously extremely well-placed bait for counter spells, which he probably has. Yes, he does. Because that's a Bull's discard deck, if anyone has not yet figured it out somehow. It's always a Bull's discard deck. There has never been a situation in life where this has not been a Bull's discard deck color. Okay, good. I like that. 10 out of 10. We're not just getting a lance. Jesus Christ. So the bad part about this deck is obviously it works kind of off of 5 mana the best. Getting 4 mana is pretty easy. Getting 5 mana, as you can see, this guy just got extremely lucky. Nothing else. Come on, Growth Spiral. Oh! That's so close yet so far. Shit. Well, maybe he... He's obviously gonna play the bolus sooner or later, and if and if we're extremely un oh look at that now we now we're getting everything as we do not want to. Are you gonna counter spell the gift of Paradisio because you have figured it out that my deck needs a little bit more manas? No, okay, that's fine. Okay, also I don't exactly want to play this now because. He, if he kills these lands with the Gift of Paradisia, I'm not going to be too happy about life. Well, first of all, I'm going to be playing Vivian, because Vivian's going to shoot... What the hell is this? It's a crackpot. Okay. Did not expect exactly that. Okay, so what's the plan here? The plan is simple. I'm still going to do... something? Do I actually do this? I have a strange feeling I still do this, even though it's not exactly smart. Now if I do this, I can buff it to two. And essentially just fight that thing. And it should be fine. Because if he if he chooses to use the uh, use the minus Ugin, he's gonna get, you know... The, the Nissa is gonna die, but he's also dead. Like, almost 100% household guaranteed. But I really don't want to lose this land. It's really succulent and juicy and whatnot. Okay, so yeah, that was expected. So the question now is, does he have anything to kill these two? Because I don't think he has. I'm kind of on the high probability stakes roll here. Okay, that's actually something that works. Okay, let's see what did we mill. A lot of things. <clears throat> Amazing. 10 out of 10 even. 10 out of 10. Okay. We can't play anything yet again. So, Gift of Paradisia on this thing now. Yes, yes, yes. Pay, no one cares. Oh, this is not my happy place. This is not my happy place. We got completely cucked by lands. Again. 50% of our deck is almost tramp. And I'm saying 50 because I'm bad at math. You know, probably even 70% of our deck is actually ramp, and we're still not managing it. Okay, so he just doubled Dugan. Honestly, I can kind of surrender at this point, I feel, because he's just gonna minus. Yep, that's, that's a minus. Okay, so now we surrender, because there's no coming back from that. If we had the amount of lands that guy had, we would be just dropping Vivian's left, right, and center, and everyone would be having a tremendously happy day. And, you know, then we would do the Hydrosis Crosses for 50, because that's just logical. And, you know, onward we go, essentially. But, sadly, somehow that did not happen. Okay, again, sh what's, what's the fucking deal with these... Like, <clears throat> magic. How the fuck are you too stupid to figure out if you're putting uncolored lands in your deck, you most likely do not want to draw them in your starting hand. Like, it's honestly not the most complicated thing in the world. But no, magic fails on that part. Extremely hard, by the way. Because, yeah, if you haven't noticed, uh, try putting uh, try putting four uh, Cabal Strongholds in any of your... Uh, in, any mono, uh, in any mono black deck. 
you will literally never find a situation uh, where you do not start, uh, get an opening hand. That's actually a bad pick, by the way. Uh, where you will not have an opening hand with Cabal Strongholds or getting those Cabal Strongholds pre-goddamn soon-ish. Yeah, it just does not happen. I don't know. Why would they ever implement something like that? But, you know, it, it just does not happen. Okay, do I play this? Let's actually just ramp, because this guy is currently extremely slow, because obviously, uh, skill level's incomplete, so he can't really do too much. So I'm not in any kind of rush, and I can just drop mendings of Dominari left, right, and center, ramp up, and, you know, just win off of the simple fact that I'm a better magic player than this guy. Chambers! Great stuff. Oh my god. So many things, and so many Hydrosis Crosses. And, you know, let's just add on to the bunch. Gotten two lands, that's decent. And not a single thing that was needed there was found. It's fine, though. It's fine. Okay. Gonna f I have a feeling that I need to save this Hydra boy uh, for the Baron, which is definitely sooner or later coming. Ah, Lillian, Dreadhorde Generale. Good stuff. Ooh, that's 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 a fun one. Okay, good, good, good. That's actually a decent amount of lands in the graveyard. Boom! Suddenly everything is going a little bit better in life. I know, it's amazing. Who would have thought? Uh no, don't want that, sadly. Okay, so let's just now drop a Nisakun. And honestly, we have nothing better to do than just mending of Dominaria yet again. <laughs> Yeah, great stuff, boys. Great stuff. Lands, creatures, no, but we do have proliferate action possible, so I guess it's fine. Okay, are we just double proliferating? I think we are. I feel there's a huge chance we're just double proliferating and getting Nissa Emblem out. Obviously, Nissa Emblem a secondary win condition. For example, this guy definitely does not have a single card that will deal with the uh, uh, with the invulnerable lands. So that's a bonus boon. Oh, are you actually just gonna do that? I'm fine with blocking. I honestly am. Don't know why. Oh, that's expected. Boom! Getting that mon, the boy. Getting that mon. Okay, that's fine. Put some more things. Oh, that's a decent amount of lands. Okay, so now the joke is like this, we can just proliferate on this. Yep. Actually, we can also do that, which is kind of funny, because it's a little bit redundant. But it's fine, it's, it's fine. Okay, so there is a chance, by the way, for that Leia's Dance, so I'm just gonna do it instantaneously. We can also scoop up a bunch of forests this way, so it's honestly absolutely fine. Okay, do I want to pay the life for this? No, I don't. Also, I somehow put the Gift of Paradisio on the Ark of Orozca. And now I'm going to do this for 4. Let's do it for 4. And do it like this. So he wants to kill the Hydrosis Cross. Well, the Verosis Crosses. See, I told you the Dead Barons are going to happen, boys. I am always right about the Dead Barons. Uh, more Hydrosis Crosses. Actually, I'm fine with this. 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 15. We can do a Hydra for 15. Ain't that amazing? And if we, we can also double its uh, counters. Wait, that was absolutely redundantly amazing. I actually had no idea. Oh, no, I'm an idiot. For some reason, I just now thought that the Dead Baron has Dead Touch. It doesn't, if anyone did not know this. You need two Dead Barons so the other Dead Baron gets the Dead Touch. And yeah, this is pretty much over for this this sad lad. But it's fine, because he has not yet seen the, uh, the wonders of a, of a... Ooh, I really want to do that, but it's fine. 6, 8, 12. It's 15 again, isn't it? Well, honestly, it doesn't even matter, because whatever. Yep, Hydrosis crosses everyone. It's a card, it does things, it mills yourself real fast, real good, by the way, also. Okay. So, yeah. Also, we managely, uh, magically managed to not get a single Planeswalker. 
So yeah, that's pretty impressive also. Because we can proliferate a lot. And that's powerful. Okay, this guy definitely does not understand the concept of... Uh, I can just... Oh, he just gives up. Yeah. Okay. So, that's honestly it for this deck. It's a Hydra deck. It's better than you would expect. But it's a little bit worse than you would expect, honestly. Okay, and here's the way you actually turn this deck into uh, extremely valid... You just get four Vivian Argbos. Uh, replay, uh, and replace the uh, Wilderness Reclamations. Essentially, that's it. And then you can add uh, a little bit more cheap Hydras. You know, there's actually one Hydra left. Creatures play, uh, cost one. Uh, the, one uh, the one costing X Hydra. This one. You just place a bunch of them in uh, instead of the Wilderness Reclamations. And, you know, you get, out, uh, you get rid of something like Nissus Triumph. And you essentially have a little bit more of aggressive deck, but then your combo chances uh, kind of uh, kind of gets uh, squashed. So you know it's a kind of a little bit of a double-edged sword, because a lot of the times you're not gonna be wanting to like put all your eggs in like a Hydrosis Crosses basket. So you're gonna use one full turn of mana to create a like a eight-eight uh, Hydrosis Crosses, and the next uh, and uh, and on the proc of what's it called. Wilderness Reclamation, you're gonna be doing, uh, you know, some uh, one more, like 8-8 eight, eight or 10-10 ten, ten or whatever. So you're gonna split things. So that's why I honestly like this uh, the Wilderness Reclamation a little bit better. But against, you know, if you want to be a bit more aggressive, just uh, 4 Hungering Hydras, because oh, it's, it's an amazingly good card. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah. Anyway, this was Quasar Sensei. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my channel. Check out the Discord. Check out the Patreon. Check out everything and have a nice day. Bye-bye.